To be honest, I'm not know who the White Death is. Yeah, I did the White Death. You just told me five minutes ago he cuts off arms. Why do I even bother forwarding you the briefings? I do not know. The Japanese underworld used to be ruled by a man named Minigishi. Now, Minigishi was one brutal bastard. But he was old school, you know. Tradition and loyalty was all that mattered to him. When you were in, you were in. You were like family. He treated you like you were one of his own. Then out of the blue comes this six foot fucking six geezer from Russia. Whispers that he was exiled from the Russian mafia, that he was ex KGB. No one really knows the truth. But what is known is this Russian worked his way up the ranks, bit by bit, kill by kill. And very, very fucking quickly became one of Minigishi's closest advisors. And those loyal to him said, Hold your horses. This geezer ain't a full ticket. He ain't to be trusted. He's dangerous, they said. A modern plague, they said. A white death. So sure enough, they were right. He made his own alliance. His own gang. And what'd he do? Stabbed him in the back. I mean, metaphorically, blew his fucking brains out, didn't he? He wiped my name Minigishi off the face of the earth in one single night. Made an empire worthy of the White Death. So, let me put this bluntly. There's this soulless psychotic leader with the largest criminal organisation on the planet shoved right inside our fucking arse cheeks. That motherfucker's definitely a diesel in, isn't he? If you mention Thomas the Tank Engine one more time, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking face. Okay, okay, if he's such a badass, how come he hired two random operators instead of getting his son back himself? Because if you actually read the briefings, you'd know that he had a wife. Well, he had a wife? Yes, she was the most important fucking thing in his life, and she died, drunk driving accident or some shit. And now he's at the compound, and he ain't left since. An unnamed locomotive might say there's a lesson to be learned. Uh, listen, and he didn't hire two random operators, Lemon. No, he asked for the best. He asked for the two responsible for the Bolivia job. <laughs> He asked for pros who wouldn't fuck up. Three words, Lemon, we are fucked. fucked.